Fringy Advanced Media, I am Connor Hughes. Well, it's not the official start of the 2017 season, but this is kind of the official, unofficial start of the 2017 offseason. Uh, today, the New York Jets reported to one Jets drive in Florham Park to begin their offseason conditioning program. Now, on-field work isn't technically allowed until the OTAs begin in, in a week or so, or in a couple weeks, I should say. But this is the first time since the 2016 season ended that the coaches are allowed to have some contact with the players. So with this kind of that, again, like we said, unofficial official start, we figured we would lay out three storylines to monitor here as the Jets offseason conditioning program gets underway. And we'll start with number three, and it is basically what kind of a team are the Jets going to have in terms of competitiveness? You know, is this a group that is truly full on 110% through or going forward into a rebuild stage? Are they really just sacrificing the 2017 season to focus on 18, 19, 20, and 21? Or are the Jets going to surprise some people? I mean, look, if they hit a couple home runs here in the NFL draft, they could. I mean, maybe Josh McCown catches lightning in a bottle. Maybe Bryce Petty or Christian Hackenberg uh, come out of nowhere to be a franchise quarterback. You don't really know. So, so what kind of a team are the Jets going to be? We'll see. And, and I think it's going to start here in OTA's minicamp and, and then as we transition into training camp. Storyline number two to follow is Todd Bowles. And essentially, is he going to have a better handle of this roster? You know, Todd Bowles in 2016, his players backed him. His players were on board with him. But there were legitimate concerns about just how much of a grasp he had on these group of guys, just how much of a general he really was in terms of, of discipline and, and if he was a disciplinarian. Muhammad Wilkerson and Sheldon Richardson regularly late to team meetings. Todd Bowles at the owner's meeting raised some eyebrows when, when he said that, you know, quote unquote, sometimes you're late for work. That's not a good thing. I mean, that's probably the first time I've ever heard a football coach refer to anything in that regard. So is this going to be a new Todd Bowles in 2016? Is he really going to evolve like he said he wanted to? We will see. And then obviously the, the number one storyline that we're going to monitor and watch as we start here in the offseason conditioning program is the Jets quarterbacks and essentially what they've got in their quarterbacks. Is Christian Hackenberg a franchise guy? Is Bryce Petty a franchise guy? Are the Jets going to draft somebody and is he going to be the franchise guy? We don't know, but, but this will be the first time that we kind of see these guys in their new offense run by John Morton and in their new scheme for, for Bryce Petty going into year three and Christian Hackenberg heading into year two. For NJ Vance Media, I'm Connor Hughes.